Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon in southwest Suffolk County on Long Island, serving the entire New York, New Jersey, Connecticut tri-state area uh, with everything you need to make sure your home stays up to adverse weather. If we ever get any adverse weather the way it's been, it might be a while. On the other hand, before you know it, it'll be winter time, and you might be in need of rock salt. And they are Long Island's largest provider of rock salt. And actually, folks come from all over the tri-state area to uh, get it from Omni because they have the best prices anywhere. 631-756-1125 as, is the phone number, the website, omnitruevalue.com. So we're in a stretch of uh, warm November weather. Now, what this normally means this time of year, because the nights are long, uh, is that we get low clouds and fog to develop. We had that happen in many areas overnight and this morning. We're going to have it probably again uh, for tomorrow morning and more than likely again Saturday night and a Sunday morning. But then during the daytime, it breaks out into sunshine and, of course, warm temperatures. And we are in line to possibly set some record highs uh, this weekend with high temperatures that will be uh, in the low and middle 70s tomorrow. Maybe a few places in some warm spots in South Jersey could push it a little higher, for example. Uh, Sunday, depending on how much sun we get, we could see temperatures in the mid to upper 70s from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. Uh, in the meantime, there are a couple of things that I want to point out that are going on the, uh, this evening and tonight that are important. If you look back uh, through uh, into Texas and Oklahoma, uh, this uh, satellite loop shows uh, thunderstorm, uh, lightning flashes and lightning strikes. And you see it here uh, that there is some uh, rather interesting activity developing uh, across parts of Texas and Oklahoma. And as a result, we do have the Storm Prediction Center uh, showing actually a moderate risk of uh, severe weather uh, for today uh, in that uh, sort of that four corner area from southeast Oklahoma, southwestern Arkansas, northwest Louisiana and northeastern Texas. And that, uh, by the way, comes with uh, elevated tornado risk as well. Uh, we have a 15% uh, chance of tornadoes tonight. There could be a very serious outbreak in that moderate risk zone. Uh, and 5% actually extends pretty far to the north into Oklahoma and northern Kansas, 2% up into southeast Missouri and south, uh, southwest Missouri and southeastern Kansas. And also on the southern flank, uh, we see uh, the 2% down to the uh, Texas Gulf Coast and also in uh, much of the state of Louisiana. So very busy night for severe weather there. And then tomorrow... Uh, the severe weather risk translates just to two small areas of marginal risk in parts of Ohio, northern Kentucky, north central Kentucky, eastern Indiana, also in uh, southern Mississippi, down into southeast Louisiana. And then on Sunday, uh, it uh, diminishes entirely because this frontal system is actually going to be weakening. It's reaching its peak intensity today, and it's going to be weakening as we move forward, uh, we'll give a quick check of the radar here. This is as of uh, 4.30 Eastern time. And you see uh, there are already uh, a few tornado warnings in parts of northeastern Texas and a number of severe thunderstorm warnings uh, as well. Seeing some showers and thunderstorms extending up into Kansas and northwest uh, Missouri and more showers, downpours and even some thunderstorms in parts of southern Wisconsin uh, this evening. Otherwise, when we look at the radar in the east, it's quiet. Uh, pretty much from, except for a few showers in northern Maine, light stuff. Uh, the radars are pretty quiet all the way down the coast into Florida. Also seeing a little bit of light shower activity uh, over in the uh, Carolinas. The rainfall over the next seven days is uh, not really uh, going to amount to much on at the beginning of the forecast period in the east. Uh, you'll notice that there's nothing being indicated here for tonight into uh Hold on, this is the wrong map. There you go. There's hardly any indicated here for tonight uh, down into Florida. A little bit of shower activity during the day uh, tomorrow possible in the uh, Appalachians there and also up and down the Mississippi Valley uh, for Sunday. Also, nothing It's along the coastal plain. It's mostly inland, central and western Pennsylvania down the Appalachians, and it's very light. Not much of anything on Monday. 
and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Thursday, uh, th th Thursday, uh, not much precipitation either. But notice, by the way, through this whole period, we're starting to see uh, moisture come in from the southeast over Florida, uh, and that is due to low pressure uh, that is going to develop uh, in the Bahamas and head westward. I think this stands an increasing chance now from looking at some of the models today that we could see this develop into a, a subtropical or tropical depression or a subtropical or tropical storm before it's all said and done. And you see the rainfall amounts at the end of the period along the Carolina coast down into coastal Florida of several inches of rain. That could be extended a little bit further to the west and further inland with time. Uh, we have a ways to go as far as uh, trying to figure that out. And on that note, I want to just jump over to the uh, satellite view of disturbed weather now that is developing in the eastern Caribbean, uh, over Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, and also starting to see it develop there in the Bahamas. And that's what we're going to be pretty much watching here going forward uh, for next week. As far as the day-to-day -day weather is concerned for, for our area, for eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, of course, we have this warm high offshore, winds going southwest, which will help to warm temperatures up. You see the storm system uh, in Oklahoma moving northeastward up toward Wisconsin, that front moving eastward and weakening. And you're seeing also increasing showers there from the Bahamas east uh, for Saturday. And then low pressure starts to come out uh, to the north out of the eastern Caribbean and it'll be east of the Bahamas uh, Sunday and Sunday night and start to move westward. Meanwhile, here in the our area, again, that dying front, maybe it triggers off a couple of showers in eastern PA late in the afternoon on Sunday, but that all should fall apart. And Monday we'll have one leftover warm day and then it comes a, a cool high. I, I would hesitate to call it cold, but it's certainly going to be seeing temperatures getting back to near normal why that while that high builds in uh, low is going to develop there uh, east of the bahamas and move westward and it looks to me like this is going to possibly become a tropical depression or a tropical storm with time we're going to be protected by this big high for pretty much all of the work week uh, if you're in the Carolinas, though, uh, I would sort of pay attention to this, if only due to the fact that you're going to have this strong onshore flow developing here along the Carolina coast, uh, and actually might even uh, extend to further north to, uh, the, toward the Chesapeake Bay and southeast Virginia. Uh, we've got a full moon coming up this week, so that's going to be a, a, an issue here uh, with regards to uh, some tidal flooding, coastal flooding, etc. So we want to keep a watch on that. We're going to watch to see what happens with this low as it moves westward. But the weather here in the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states will be, uh, at least temperatures will be back to normal. And we should be dry most of the time, and I think most of the days should be sunny with the high in position the way it is. Late next week, that low is going to do something with another cold front moving east, and we're going to watch to see if some of that moisture winds up moving up the eastern seaboard. So that's that's sort of the long-range view on all of this. Uh, in the meantime, uh, enjoy this nice weather that we have, uh, this nice, uh, very warm weather with record highs that are coming up for tomorrow, possibly for tomorrow and maybe a better chance on Sunday. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. Remember, head there for rock salt this winter, 631-756-1125. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. So we'll leave you with the uh, U.S. satellite loop on this Friday uh, evening. Have a uh, great uh, evening and a great weekend. Be sure to tune in for the latest weather uh, on Sunday. Uh, we'll have the Joe and Joe Weather Show live probably at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And don't forget, clocks go back uh, s Saturday night. Daylight uh, saving time comes to an end.